Hey folks, welcome back, and we're here at Orange County, and we're going to fly to Braden Air Park in eastern Pennsylvania. Um, I have a clam bake there uh, for the Phillipsburg Emergency Squad that I volunteer at, and this year is my 20th year volunteering as an EMT and the last eight years as president. So I'll volunteer, and uh, once a year we have a clam bake, and that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to drive. I figure, I figure... What the heck? Beautiful. Orange County traffic, Diamond, 3 the Yankees, upwind, runway uh, Beautiful, four. beautiful weather here in Orange County, and the whole area is beautiful for, since basically Wednesday. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be great, Sunday. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Hey, might as well fly on these awesome, perfect days. Um, Orange County, Green, Sky Lane, 7 one So that's it. That's what we're doing turning, today. Runway four, Orange County. Everything is in the... I uh, already put my uh, flight plan in the uh, Four Flight app here. I'll log into it here quickly. Just push up a button, and there you go. Should, should say it in there. Yes, it does. And we're, we're going to get ATC for flight following. I have a busy corridor between New York City. Uh, a lot of the jets, um, they hit Huguenot. VOR and then go into the city. So we're going to um, get some flight following. It's considered across country, uh, over 50 miles, nautical miles. So. Orange County, Green Sky Lane, seven one eight nine zero zero. Here we are. Runway four, Orange County. Oh, so I got a I got a person to fly along with me, and look who I found in my uh, old boxes at home when I was a kid. I had this thing. And uh, probably 30 years or so later, I found him. So, Frito, I'm going to call him Frito. I know it's corny. But, hey, why not? Who are you going to fly along with us today? <laughs> Don't know why I decided to bring him with me, but we we'll to put him right here. He'll probably fly all over the place. That's right. Especially when you take off, he'll come like this way, probably. Uh, there's my buddy uh, Kevin in his Tiger aircraft. He's doing his run-up. Beautiful day to fly. He has a beautiful plane. It's, he's in my video. Uh, we we did a, we flew to Columbia County. Nice plane. Okay, so we're gonna do the checklist. Make sure everything is good to go before we take off.
So, uh, trim for takeoff, flight controls, free and clear. Check everything. Notes in the hangar, always check everything. Um, trim is set, and we got 15% flaps. Mixer's full rich. Crops full forward, 1900 RPMs. Downwind, touch and go, Orange County. Have a good flight, Chris. You too, Kev, take care. Orange County traffic, uh, Tiger Tug. Okay, perfect drop. Four straight out, Orange. Right mag. Perfect drop. No hiccuping, so no carbon in the uh, plugs. Back to both. Prop cycle. Okay, nothing on the windshield, no oil. The seals are good. Oil pressure drop. Alright, perfect. Carpy. Pull that out, drop 50 RPMs, perfect. Car peat back in. Vacuum is good. We're on the green. Lights are already on. Voltage is good. Fuel pump. Uh, fuel pressure is good. Uh, oil sensor temperature. Oil temperature. Oil pressure. We got plenty of fuel. Amps are fine. Um, and then we're going to put it back to the idle. Orange County, Green Sky Lane, 718 turning base to runway 4, Orange County. Carpet's off, fuel pump is on. When we get there, we'll put the fuel pump on. And uh, let's do the directional dry row. And we've got to do the doors. Oh boy, that's a long stretch. I'm tucked in the seatbelt. Okay, so we're all complete with the checklist. Of course, you do the walk around checklist, you check um, obviously your flaps your oil, your prop, all that fun stuff. Put the fuel pump on when we get closer. We'll leave that open for now. Frito's gonna hang out here. They'll probably blow away. And we're good. Orange County, Green Sky Lane, 71890, turning final for runway four, Orange County. November 4-3. Also make sure you swim the tanks every time you fly. Which we did. So direct. Yeah, so it's 63 nautical miles, and then we'll do is um, let's get the altimeter. Check the weather here real quickly. Dew point one three Celsius. Altimeter three zero two one. Remarks. Density altitude one thousand three hundred. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. One airport, Montgomery. Okay, weather. One thirty-two. Put in uh, New York approach. Seven five. Okay. Orange County, Green Skyline seven one eight nine zero on the go runway four, Orange County. They just do all this stuff before I get you guys on. That's okay. We'll do a little time down here. Okay. Then we're going to taxi on over to the runway. Do a quick system test here. And Orange County traffic land fares 10 to the southwest, descending on a 6.5 inbound. System test passed. Okay, thank you. We're all set. You almost hit a bird. Gee, that was close. <laughs> nice diamonds over here. They're all from the flight school. Take aviation. Take flight aviation. Okay, windows lock. We have the strobes now are or on. Orange County, green sky, lane. So Landing lights on. Zero, turning crosswind, runway four, Orange County. Fuel pump's on. He's taking off. And Orange County traffic. Uh, Moody 8, so November, taking active four for departure, Orange County. Okay, mixture for which props before we had the flaps at 15, we're trimmed for takeoff, fuel pumps on, laying lights on. Anti-collision light is on, our strobes are on. Orange County traffic, time three zero Yankee, upwind the runway 4, close traffic, Orange County. Orange County, Green Sky Lane 718 turning downwind runway 4, Orange County. A lot of birds in the area, a lot of birds everywhere. Okay, we're all good to go. Power in.
All right, full power. Right rudder. 65, already 70, rotate. And gears coming up. Sometimes I get the question of why I put the gear up so soon when I have a lot of runway left. Uh, the Johnson bar is easy under 80 miles an hour to put up. That's why I do it. If I had, if I had to put it down real quickly, it's very easy to put it right down in literally seconds. Flaps coming up. Hey Scott, how you doing, buddy? Who's that? Chris Lee. My man. Hey, gears up, flaps up. We're good. We'll trim down a little bit. Pull the power back. We can't go too crazy because we have some guys in that pattern. We're going the other way. All right, nice flaps up. Three zero yank. Traffic, mitigate November left crosswind for four Orange County. Orange County tra traffic, sky lane 718 turning base, Orange County. And Orange County traffic, land fair 500, we'll be over flying the field and uh, we'll be joining the left downwind on the, with the other land there, uh, Orange County. Traffic, uh, Lancer, Yankee Alpha is approximately two miles to the north. Uh, entering 45 degree left downwind for runway 04, Orange County. We have the uh, crosswind and downwind traffic in sight in the uh, midfield. And Orange County traffic, Mooney 8 November is downwind now for four, Orange County, climbing through 2000 with a partner pattern to the southwest, Orange County. Good play, Chris. You can mango in the east and PA. Have fun. Always do. Better than golf. Orange County traffic, Skyline 71890, runway 4, full stop, Orange County. Orange County traffic, uh, Lancer, Yankee, Alpha is beam the numbers, runway 4. We have the uh, Katana in sight, uh, Orange County. Traffic time at 3 0 Yankee, turn to face, runway 4, push go, run hard to go. Okay. So we're set there. Pull the power back more. Traffic, three November Hotel, 3 miles to the east, over track to the field, and joining on the left down. Orange County traffic, Lancer, Yankee Alpha, turning left base, number two for landing, runway four, Orange County. And Orange County, Lancer is now four to the north, we'll be joining a 45 for zero four, Lancer five zero zero. Why drive, right? 
Got the plane, the might as well use it. Um, it saves me about a half an hour. That's even going to the airport and back home. Actually more than that, it's one way. It's about an hour both ways. Um, I got Fredo here, hanging out. I can't believe I found this guy. Put him in the, I actually threw him in the, uh, the um, wash because it was a little dirtier than that. <laughs> So 4,500. A little bit of a headwind, about, but basically it is uh, dead even, no wind. A one knot headwind. And then we get Allentown approach. There's two different frequencies, so we'll wait and see which one he gives us. But let's anticipate, um, let's go over here and see. One two four point four five. Let's try that. New York, Blue Sky Two, climbing at a one point three for one four. Blue Sky Two, Roger. Let's see if he gets us that. Okay, four thousand two hundred. Four eight four three. Contact Bradley. One two three nine or five. Course heading is two. Bradley. Yeah. One two three nine five for eight four three. Thank you for your help. New York, Blue Sky One two minutes. Alright, so we're going to start leveling out. Nice climb. Everything's in the green. Nice and easy on the trim reel. Wheel. Oh, now the air conditioner kicked in. <laughs> Let's see what it, what's the temperature up here. 78.6 up here, degrees. For the record, I have no air conditioning. It's just as you go up, it gets a little cooler. That's where we're at. Okay, so we're gonna pay attention to Sussex. I'm sure there's guys jumping in the area over there, and um, looks like it looks like it might be. There's a November 88 Zulu Alpha circling the field, so it might be the jumper plane. So we'll pay attention to that, like always. And uh, it's a short runway. Over here. At Brain Air Park, would you guys do that? My other videos, if you fly along. So you really gotta hit the numbers. Um, and there's also, you know, 1 8, there's a bank that's there, and there's a road. So a lot of the people that are stopped at that traffic light must think, oh my god, this plane's gonna, gonna hit me. So let's pull the power back a little more. One, Moving right along at 130 knots. At a probably about a 60-ish percent power setting. With no wind right now. Okay, Chrono 1701, stop the climb at, uh, at 5,000. Okay, mixture set. Stop at 5,701. And I just want to give you a heads up on this. If you want to go IFR now, um, you're going to end up going uh, northwestbound a little bit and going out west and then south. Um, I just want to make sure you want to pick up that IFR now. Uh, you tell me how best to avoid having to backtrack, and I will, uh, I'll do it. Um, I, I don't want to tell you to be IFR or VFR, but like I said, I, I, the, the routing right now is going to be weird to lake. Which you can bring you weird. Isn't that water funny? Them these points <laughs> for IFR. It's like weird. New York air traffic. The, the names of place weird. Um, you know, if you want to go VFR, you could probably pick it down when you go south more. But it's not a problem if you want the IFR now. Let me just Looking for traffic. The box and I'll get right back to you if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll give you. It's Weird Lake, which is uh, Lima Alpha Alpha Yankee Kilo, and then Q436, and then it's going to take it out. Okay, green. We're all set. Yeah, if you, if um, I'm gonna need you to hold there, then I can't have you go any more south. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll slow it down. We'll uh, we'll circle a little bit for you. Yeah, it'd be good. And we're gonna switch tanks when we get closer to Sussex. Sussex 
seventeen and one. If you can bring it uh, northwestbound. Hopefully, all the cameras are still on. City is off to our left here. You can't really see it because of the the, uh, the haze. But I guess they uh, call it haze here in Marine Layer in California. But tonight it's going to be beautiful on the flight home. And I'll have you guys with me. Um, it'll be dark out. Um, now it gets dark around 7:30. Uh, but it's okay. Maybe you guys want to fly along. You can. There's the RC field down there. Flying at night is a good experience. Uh, we took a look at that route. Yeah, it's pretty out of the way. I think we're just going to go with VFR. It, brings, it heightens your awareness up a lot uh, because uh, you, unless you're flying in the city areas, uh, but like up here in Orange County, Sussex County, New Jersey, if you can see below us right now, it's, it's all farms. So when you get out of the eastern area, it's it's literally pitch dark underneath you. Um, you can't see in okay, front of you. It's, uh, that's fine for now. Um, like I said, there's no, there's, it's not like I could have got you a better routing. That's how they do it. No, I, I know how it is. Course 17 to 1, yeah, you can proceed on course and continue to climb. All right, well, uh, so at nighttime, you're basically, oh, let's face it, folks, uh, flying IFR, really. I mean, you can't see your horizon. You can't see uh, the ground, really, unless you're like in a populated area. There's a lot of lights. The only thing you can see is a couple cars here and there. Um, so it's you're really going to be on your instruments and uh, on your uh, awareness here to land somewhere if you had an issue. That's what I like about the four plate app here. It gives you that green ring. So if you got if you had an emergency, you know where you can go and glide to. And there's highways, some highways and stuff on the uh, chart. But this Mooney's flying excellent. I love it. Knock on wood. No wood here, is there? Ah, there you go. Uh, she's awesome. Great airplane. On a 1701 near approach, 120.8. Went to Ocean City, Maryland, had somebody in the back, in the front, and me. No issues, moved my seat up a little bit, they got about this much room. You know, all the questions you get, you know, what room, and you know, you got to tell yourself, how many times do you fly with four people in a four-place airplane? It's good to have for retail, but typically it's just you and somebody else. Um, so I'm not really concerned about the back passengers, uh, because the plane is for me. <laughs> That's right. But it's, it's a no problem here to get people in. The uh, 201 is a little bit longer to get this much room. Um, so, but... Any gain about six knots-ish. Seven of M your approach on one two seven point six. November, New York approach, 27-6. 27-6, November, good day, thank you. And New anyway, York, good evening, Mooney, 8 November is with you at five point, uh, 4.5, sir. 8, 7 November, roger, I'll submit at 3021. 3021, 8 November, thank you. I thought it was me, but I thought the first was cut off, so. So they didn't give me Allentown, they gave me another controller out of New York. So I'm wrong again. And there's Sussex, so. Tango Charlie, Tango we're gonna switch Tango tanks. To so, to take off the shoulder Tango harness, fuel pump's coming on, and flip it over to left tank, which is my side. Helicopter 8 Zulu Alpha, contact Caldwell Tower, 19-8. All right, looking good. Fuel pump's coming off. 
Echo Fox Foxtrot, your radar service terminates now. You can go to advisory. Good day. And we're good. Good day to Echo Fox Foxtrot. This is a little tight. That's better. Coming back from uh, Ocean City, we got into some turbulent air. Got closer to New York City, so there's a lot of jets going in, so there's some uh, wash from them. So I've had it a little bit tighter on me. Right now, it looks nice and smooth. Okay, looking good in the green, in the green. So yes, when you're buying an airplane, now if you have a family of four, uh, maybe you should check into a bigger back seat with room. Uh, if you have small kids, not a big deal. You can fit two kids in the back, no problem. Um, but if it's just you and, and a wife or husband or whoever, a friend, you're just flying, you're single, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, pick a plane that, that you want for yourself, not for everybody else. And there's a plane uh, 800 feet ahead of me. I have them in sight. Let's see what kind of plane that is. Unknown, speed, and zero knots. I don't know why that says zero. It's a secret plane. Tango, Tango, Charlie, maintain 3,000. It looks like a plane. Maintain 3,000, Tango, Tango, Charlie. Charlie Fox, Juliet Fox, Juliet, descend at 3,500. So we're 36 nautical miles away. I was going to fly over to Clambake area. A little low pass. But it's, of course, 1,000 feet above anything. And Blairstown's coming up. And about uh, 16 miles. So 135 knots in calm air, about 60% power. So again, this plane really moves nice. I don't know how I hit bugs at 4,500 feet. Like, what are they doing up here? <laughs> November, contact Allentown, 124.45. 24.45, it's number of the day, thank you. Okay. So I was right, but they gave me New York instead. Lance, 2943, cool back, Allentown approach, Allentown altimeter 3021. 3021, and we're going to um, need to make a fuel stop at Alpha Victor Papa. Number 43, Quebec, Rod, do you want to change your destination there? Yes, sir. Number 43, uh, correction, 43, Quebec, Roger, clear to the uh, Wilkes-Barre Airport via direct, maintain 7,000. Quebec, Wilkes-Barre Airport, maintain 7,000. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Mooney 8, so November is with you at 4.5. Number 6887, November, Allentown approach, Allentown altimeter 3021, advise prior to altitude change. 3021, the knee altimeter, and we'll advise of any altitude changes, 8, so November. Allentown approach, 4310 Foxtrot, Warrior, uh, student pilot, 20 northeast at 4500, landing Allentown, Tango, information. What was the call sign again? 4310 Foxtrot. We're 4310 Foxtrot, squawk 0426. said, he had his call sign as a student pilot, 
that lets ATC know to kind of go a little bit slower with some call signs, with frequency changes. 4310 Foxtrot radar contact. And there's, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Altimeter 3021. There's nothing wrong with that. Type aircraft. Piper Warrior. Number two eight correction uh, number one zero Foxtrot Roger maintain VFR at three thousand five hundred and proceed straight in for runway two four. Maintain four thousand five hundred four straight in two four. So if it wasn't for the, uh, the general aviation community and family over to for niner niner three three whiskey contact running approach the last many 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 decades we wouldn't have airline pilots we wouldn't have military pilots it all starts with us. Um, and whether you take it as a career from there on in, you take it for a career. If not, you do what I'm doing and enjoying the aviation world, and it's beautiful to do so. And you can do it at an expense that you're willing to expend. Uh, how much you're willing to expend? Number one zero Foxtrot, affirmative, maintain VFR at 3,500. One zero Foxtrot, maintain the VFR at 3,000. When they close airports down, or they threaten to close airports down, when there's flight schools and stuff in those locations, it's like you're making it harder for you know, the guys that get into the, the um, commercial airline pilots and so, such. And you have airline pilots uh, who fly commercial, you know, me, you, going to a flight to from here to wherever, California, whatever. And you also have a lot of other pilots who do your FedEx, who do local runs. Um, a lot of things go on. And right now, the country is short about 3,000 pilots. So when you start taking airports away that people like me and you and guys who are watching who are interested in aviation go to these airports and want to learn, and they're all going away, where are you going to go and learn at? Uh, and uh, it's it's not a good thing to close airports down. Because when you close them down, you can't reopen them. For 4310 Foxtrot, contact approach 11. That's everybody forgets. Because the developer buys it, and there's houses on it before you know it. And there's another airport that is gone for good. 11965. And good luck trying to open up or make a new airport. So. If you don't like airplanes, if you don't like noise, don't move next to an airport. Don't move next to a raceway if you don't, you know, if you don't like race cars and the noise. Uh, I don't know what else to tell people who who who, uh, who have those concerns and they move there. The airport's been there for 80 years, 50 years, 60 years, depending on where you're at in the country. And you know there's an airport there. When you move there, um, you know there's going to be noise. Um, and then they want to fight and take it away, so I don't understand that. But without the general aviation family, you will have no commercial family. At 18 years old, or what is it, 16 years old, 17 to get your private. At 16 years old, you're not going into a, uh, a jumble jet learning how to fly. You're going to a Cessna 150, 152, Cherokee 140, Cherokee 180, small planes. Two minutes prior. You know, you don't go into the airline jets right away. There's no aircraft in the vicinity no. of the Alexandria Airport. It's got to make progress at a 900,000 feet in two minutes. Okay. Flare's time is short over here somewhere. Make sure they have, they also have gliders. So I like to always look and uh, make sure there's no gliders in the air. We're high enough, but they go pretty high sometimes to get the wind that they need to keep circling. Um, so, actually there's a glider right there. 8-7 November, traffic 12 o'clock, 2 miles, appears to be turning southbound altitude in case 3,000, type unknown. Hey, sir, looking for traffic. You said it was 12 o'clock, sir? Hey, from yeah, about 2 miles. Okay, looking for traffic, 8-7 November. I don't have them on, I don't have them on my screen. Seven November, previous call traffic now is 11 o'clock and about one mile southbound, 2,500 appears to be descending. Okay, looking for the traffic, Brace and November, I don't see him on my screen yet. Hey, downtown, 8th November, requesting the CT sent to my destination, sir. Number 87 November, Roger, to send the pilot's discretion. My discretion on my descent, Brace and November, thank you. Uh, the traffic location now, sir? I used 11 o'clock, uh, less than a mile, 1,900 northwestbound, should be no factor. 
Okay, we'll keep an eye out for it. Thank you, 8th November. Okay, let's get down. Slow was down. A little out of time. 872 Sierra Papa, contact Wilkesbury approach. 120.9 or 5, 2095. 2095, 872 Sierra Papa. See if we can. Alexander 56 Yankee, jump to the way. National aircraft in the vicinity of the Alexander Airport, skydiving is in progress at 900,000 feet. Approach 186-1X-ray 5 West Alexandria 2300, climb at 9000. For 186-1X-ray on-town approach, radar contact, on-town altimeter 3. Hey guys, well, welcome back. Um, I lost a camera over my shoulder, uh, which, with also, uh, which also has the audio connected to it. And I also have audio connected to the camera that faces me. Um, but for some reason, it was a jarred from the GoPro. Um, so I could not get audio from that. So what I did was I just did some clips here um, quickly, um, four times the speed, obviously, as you can see here. I wish the plane was uh, uh, 400 miles an hour right now or more. <laughs> but so I basically was flying um, to Braden Air Park um, here, and I have a clam bake, um, which the Phillipsburg Emergency Squad puts on every year. And I did a little flyover. Um, uh, you know, obviously a safe um, distance, a thousand over um, the ground, and that's me really putting in the iPad pretty fast there. Uh, so yeah, you know, every time I edit these videos, um, I really see the enjoyment of aviation, and it's amazing what cameras you have now in 2019, and it's amazing what you could capture. And every time I edit videos, I'm like, wow, this is really, really cool. And it's definitely the thing to do if you're interested in aviation for sure. Um, and go have fun with it. You don't have to do it all at once. You can do it little by little. Um, you don't have the funds up front. That's what I did um, about 14 years ago now. But here we are. And um, right there, coming into the frame, is the high school. Um, and then I'm going to change angles. There to go. It's the back of the plane. Um, and I'm going to do a little flyover here. That's Ingersoll Rand. They just developed that whole entire property there in Phillipsburg. They're going to hire probably over 500 people, um, solar farms and whatnot. And uh, we're going to turn into Lopacon Township right now. That's a golf course. And uh, we're going to make a left turn. And we're going to fly over uh, the baseball field that they have there. And also. Um, where the camp, the uh, clam bake is held in a pavilion, which is right there to your left, and that's oh, I'm sorry, that's the baseball field right there, and then uh, we're coming in and going around. So I cut this off because um, I don't really need to go around and around with you guys right now, especially with no audio. So it's kind of weird, but we're going right now. Going to go fly over to Braden and land, and I did do a go around. Um, I had a little bit of a, it's a crosswind landing this day, and there was wind, the windsock was kind of all over the place a little bit, it was pushing me, then it was a crosswind, then it was favoring the runway, uh, 1E, um, so we're going to go around, so I was coming in okay, and then I got a little push, and I came in too fast, um, and because it's a 1,900 um, feet uh, runway, uh, just basically go around, it's the best thing to do, and then I'm going to slow down the landing a little bit, the gear went down there, and I'll have you guys uh, look at the landing on the go-around part, I did slow it down to regular speed in a few seconds here, so stay tuned, take a quick look, and I'll be right back with you guys.
So here I am coming in short, short final, uh, one eight, and I'm coming a little high, and I got pushed from behind a little bit too fast, and right now I'm gonna decide to go around for make that first tack, so right there, I go around. And that's what I did, full power, a little smoke coming out there. And go around. Um, a lot of people try to force it. I've seen it numerous times. Um, gear up. Uh, and just go around, folks. You don't have to force it down um, because it's you, you already set yourself up with the gumps in a complex airplane. Gas undercarriage, Mr. Prop, and speed. So you have everything set to go around. There's no reason not to. And I don't want to jam on the brakes and skid off the runway uh, or end up in a field. So let's go around. And that's what I did here. That's me talking uh, 400 times the speed of sound. <laughs> not, not really, but. So going around again, the second one was a good landing. And um, we'll get to that shortly. But again, folks, uh, don't be afraid to go around on a short runway. A long runway, you can kind of baby it down and slow it down and, and, and bleed off your airspeed. But short runways, they're short. You don't have time to do that. So um, that's why if I don't make that first kind of turn there, if I'm, not, if I'm not on the ground by that first turn off, which is the run up area at this airport, because uh, there is no taxiways, I will go around. So I'm going to slow it down and let you guys watch this part. So that was a lot better than the first one. I had my speeds, I had my touchdown point hit, and I was perfect, and I decided to land. So pull back on the yoke, get those the, the weight on the back of those two tires break, um, and that's what I did. And there's taxi on back. Again, there's no taxiways at Braden Air Park. I taxi on back, and I had a good day at the Clambake. Uh, 20 years volunteer this year for the Philip Road Merchant Squad, and then going on eight and a half years as president it's a good thing to give back to my community. Well, folks, until next time, like again, fly safe, be safe. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. See you next time.